Hello and welcome back to my playing of Dicey Dungeons. In the last episode, we played the witch by accident, because I accidentally picked on her. In this episode, we're going to play the inventor. And this time, I do think we can get through it, because last time, I really just wasn't playing well. Like, just straight up. Uh, but, yeah. So, I mean, I mean that's it. So, the issue I think I was having last time uh, was that what I should have been doing is, uh... Oh, he's, he's dead. Uh, what I should have been doing is making sure that I have the uh, limit break when I go into that last fight, which I wasn't doing. Uh, I was going to without the limit break and then not getting the chance to properly utilize a flamethrower. Uh, so this time, well, hopefully we can not do that. Is this worth using? Uh, sure, probably. I'll probably roll at least a 5 next turn, so... Or, it just has to add up to 5. I mean... Or not, not even, literally just 2. Okay. First level up, and let's get rid of the Whisper. Spell, is that no, no, that's not in. Um, yeah, we should throw that in. Put that there in the center. Uh, I have thought about it a bit. Oh, it doesn't matter here, but um, I think taking on higher level enemies first is actually smarter than going for the lower level ones, uh, assuming you have enough health. Uh, because you know, you're gonna take health more or damage more slowly from the little ones. Alright, uh that. So we shouldn't really have much trouble up until the end, I don't think, unless I get careless. And slip up somewhere along the way. Oh, 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 like that, like that. Okay, it, it's fine, we just got rid of the sword, but mashing like that, that, that would that would count as a slip up. Just getting through the menu and clicking the wrong thing. Uh And then, what do I want to do? Uh, I can take him out this turn if I do this, and then take the damage from this. And we get the level up from that, so full health. What do I, what do I want to throw away? Hmm. I think the bump uh, is what I want to get rid of, and we're going to take the flamethrower. Do three damage when turn the dice. Ah, what do I want here? Um, yeah, probably. Def I think I'm gonna just gonna take the upgrade on the uh the hammer. I don't have enough dice to use a fully upgraded flamethrower. You can throw the spanner back in there. Don't need those. Um, hmm. If we combine these, we can get off a uh, max flamethrower. Actually, that's not really worth it, huh? Wait, no, it, it, I wouldn't have been able to use all that, uh, or convert all of that damage directly into dice, anyway. 
Okay, so that was a six. And let's this do three damage from the dice. I should have used that last turn. What am I doing? I I would I would have gotten through this fight if I used it last turn. It's fine because there's a bunch of apples around we can use to heal, but that's uh, perhaps a bit of a mistake. Okay, get rid of a crossbow. And I don't think I can afford anything else at the shop right now. I can, actually, the boomerang. Is that a good thing to buy? I have no idea, but I've done it. Level 3. Level 2. Ah! Can I give that access to more or equipment? I'm gonna go for her first. So, that, that, oh, we can, we can throw it into the Keyblade, actually, first, then do this. Yeah, so, she's not doing too hot. This fight shouldn't be too difficult for us. It's also interesting to see that the Sorceress uses a lot of the same, uh, like, cards or equipment or whatever as the Witch. Like that you play as. <sighs> what do, I, I think we gotta get rid of the spanner. I can't get rid of the hammer. It's far too useful. Okay, so eat. Then fight him. So what do I want here? Uh... I think I'm just gonna use this. Toss two into here. Toss this into the Keyblade. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's just do that. Then. Uh. uh pull an extra dice. Um. I think I'm gonna get rid of a scrap metal. Midnight Charm, what's that do? Roll three, roll two sixes, okay. And cannot afford anything here. Okay, the barricade is actually genuinely, like, really good. Let's see, what do I need? Um, well, first, first nothing in this. Let's do that. Do I want to use this? Hmm. No, I think I'll save it till if I'm like approaching the end of the fight. Okay. Then throw something in there. What do I need here? Uh, that's three. So not taking him. Or er, well, hold up. Yeah, no, not taking him out this turn. Uh, we toss these both in here. That's nine damage. And then if we toss this into here, we can get the shock as well. That did not shock him. supposed to shock on six okay I, I don't know why I thought it was always maybe because I always throw sixes into it but uh, he's dead yeah I guess because with the spanner I it's really easy to get a six to throw into it uh, all dice become six that is really good actually let's go to the shop I think. Hmm. This is tough. Um. I take the crystal sword and the Venus flytrap. Electromagnet. 
So what do I want? I think I want toss put the electro magnet there. Then ha. Huh. Do I want? Hmm. Well, let's go to the next floor first because we can't do anything else here. Uh, let's see how many before I level up. Let's grab that. I think I want to because I don't have any other way to heal. I want to throw the Venus flytrap in there. Yeah. It's gonna be quite a few fights before we get healed. Um. Well, you know, aside from like self healing, I mean the like level up heal. I mean, that doesn't really do anything when I can make every dice a six. Cool. So what am I getting? It's gotta be the Venus flytrap. Spark burns one dice. Okay. So, hold up, let's throw something else in, the Keyblade. Oh, wait, hold up. That spark burn one dice? Yep, that's what that says. I guess it's like lighting it on fire with a spark, not like electricity. Okay, so generate, then let's do that so we can do as much bang for our buck as we can. dead next turn. And it's really the end that's going to be difficult. Uh, assuming he doesn't, like... Yeah, no, no, no. He's dead this turn. He can't, like, infinite poison me. Okay. And let's get rid of a spark. Attack the hold up, wait, wait, wait. Toss a boomerang in here and then attack the snowman. Yeah. Then hmm. No no no, because he's got a weakness to fire, so that's the right play. And this fight is actually over already. Just Throw something into there. Then. Cool. So. Uh, get rid of the boomerang here. Er, no, no, no. The electromagnet, perhaps? I think the electromagnet. And upgrade equipment, because we need to make sure the flamethrower is upgraded. Er. Delete hmm. yourself? This is also really good. Personally, I, I do, frankly, I do think anything with, like, comboed with Fury at the end is kind of overpowered. And I think the first, when we got the boss the first time, it actually was resistant to fire. So maybe let's change the strategy, go with, like, normal, just normal stuff, instead of funneling everything into flamethrower. So, let's go, let's upgrade the boomerang, I guess. Then... Oh, so the counterfeit in there. Okay. And this is the, I believe, the last floor before the boss. So we're not actually encountering the big, scary wraith that has killed me the last two times. So who am I fighting? Uh, let's fight the Kraken. Okay, so... Uh, let's du duplicate the five, I guess. 
then that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, because at this point, three damage isn't that much. this or not I have no idea how much any of these deal uh I guess let's just use focus and then yeah uh get rid of counterfeit and what's this? Ray gun. Three damage this turn. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, just toss. Leave that in there. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I had another small one, but what are you gonna do? It's a level five. It should be fine. Hold up. So, yeah, I need to fight everyone here to level up. Okay, and minimum three. Uh, let's toss something in there first. That off. Oh, I should have thought about that, huh? Then. Yeah. Do 9 damage, lose 2 each use. So, that, that is... <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Uh, I keep rolling 2s for some reason. I don't quite like that. Is that worth it? I don't think that's worth it. Depending on my roll next turn. Yeah, see, this world's pretty good. So we can... Well, let's just throw this in here first. Get this. Huh. Um, I, we can get through it without taking more damage by using this instead of the boomerang. Okay. Ah, they're... So, I guess throw the Keyblade in there. This equipment has plus one use this turn. I wish I had that when I was rolling like a million twos. Okay. Ah. Well. I guess. What, 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 what do I want to... Oh, I, I, I don't know that that was worth it, honestly. That thing I just did. Okay, um... So we can deal 12, 24, 30... Uh, hold up. So if we use this, that's 10, 15, so 25. I don't think we can take him out this turn like that. If we roll focus, that is 6, so down to 28. I think we can take him out this turn if we use focus. Okay. No, it's just barely short. Darn. That sucks. Please don't deal a lot of damage this turn. Okay. That's 
Uh, not great, actually. I don't think I have any way to heal. There. Uh, so this is concerning. I, I'm gonna have to buy this, I think. And... I, I, I want the healing crystal. Um... So, we'll replace the ray gun with crystal sword and hope that I get the opportunity to trade the crystal sword in for the ability next time. Okay. So, recover two health. Uh, let's just get this off early. It's, it doesn't increase or, like, multiply or anything, so... Okay. So I, sh I should have, uh... No, 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 it, it would have gone the same anyway. this in here, and we can use steel, get that. On six, inflict a burn. Uh, hmm. So do I want the 12 or the... I think I want the 12. Okay, so I think if I get through this one turn, we can use the focus and end it this this turn. Okay, so we should be good. Oh, don't even need the focus, huh? Yeah, heal just to flex on him. And steal, for that matter. Cool. So, this is the last fight before the boss. Uh, what part are we getting rid of? I guess a flame throw. Or, no, no, no. What, what, what am I doing? I need. I'm gonna get rid of a crystal sword. Okay. Hold up. Do I have any other equipment? Yeah, I have the ray gun. Oh, wait. Isn't there a. No, that's an apple. Um. Hmm. So, I'm not going into this with full equipment, unless I increase the size of that. So what do I want here? Hmm. Four damage. Uh. So I either want to increase the power of a flamethrower or increase the power of a healing crystal. I think I'm going to go with the healing crystal. <laughs> And yeah, this is the guy who is strong against fire, so it's probably a good thing that I didn't go with the flamethrower. See? Alright, so. Uh... That's not what I want. Uh, let's go Fury. What do I want to use Fury on? Uh, do I want to use Focus? I think I'm going to... Uh, do, am I? I'm going to use it now. And that deals... So yeah, let's go with that. That was the wrong... I don't know why I did that, honestly, in hindsight. A shock. Okay, so he's half down. Or almost half, not quite. Now he's half down. Why did... Oh, okay, yeah, he's just throwing it, throwing them all into the dice. So we should have this, actually, I think. So, theory on this... And we get 20 damage. Yeah. Er, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, do that. And 
and hold up. So that's six. Then we use this. So six. So we need 12. Then that's three is nine. So hold up. I think we got this this turn. We throw those in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. All right, finally. I think that's the third try, I want to say. Or the fourth one of the two. Spin the wheel as soon as we won a prize. What are we after again? Complete understanding of everything in the universe. That, that is, I think that's the single best thing somebody's asked for so far. Like, but, like the one thing that isn't just totally stupid. Actually, I don't remember what the thief asked for. Uh, tell me how the wheel works. It's so cool. No, you can't. Cut, cut, stop filming. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode. We finally got through the inventor in the next episode. We're gonna get through the witch. I was kind of breaking down the last time I played with the witch, but this time I think, uh, you know, in hindsight, it was definitely ways to make use of her abilities. So we're going to do that. Uh, see you then.